African penguin numbers have dropped hugely, with just over 11,000 breeding pairs left in South Africa and 5,000 in Namibia. To halt that decline, conservation has set up a new penguin colony at the De Wip Nature Reserve in the Western Cape. It's the first of its kind in the world. Conservation experts use penguin decoys in order to entice the seabirds, and the move seems to have worked. Anything is really helping. So trying to recreate colonies where they used to exist, the whoop, it was small, is promising because it, it's helping moving the penguins where we think, where we know the prey um, are. So between basically uh, Cape Point and, and Algarve. So it's helping. It's just a very long term um, management because it will take. So last year we had the first nest. This year we have, we have a few more. With the Western Cape's three colonies being home to the majority of the penguin population, the dwarf colony is developing into the region's fourth. South Africa's Department of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment has already made saving the endangered African penguin a priority and has put in place a number of measures to stop the decline. Among the measures the government has put in place in order to protect the penguin population are fishing bans around all penguin colonies which are meant to safeguard their prey sources in the ocean. And that has been widely welcomed by conservation groups as a step in the right direction. But they've warned that more still needs to be done. Definitely help contribute to alleviating the current decline. Um, it's not the silver bullet for uh, African penguin uh, conservation. Uh, there are other threats that they face. Uh, one of the most notable ones is just the status of the, the sardine stock at the moment um, throughout the sardine stocks range in South Africa, which is well below the long-term average. For now, the African penguin is still expected to become functionally extinct by 2030, but the new colony gives the species a fighting chance for survival. That's the Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.